Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here, and I got something really, really cool to show you guys. Uh, this tutorial will use a very, very, very tiny amount of scripting, but it's going to be through the events, so you don't have to worry. And I'm going to be explaining it as we go. Here, here is what you're going to be making. So then, uh, as you see here, we have a shop, and they take the money. As you can see, we have the money up here. However, if we go to this shop, you can see that he only takes the currency U. Now we have 45,638 G. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my currency from G to U. As you can see now, uh, as down here, you can see the currency is the U currency, and he'll take it. And this potion costs um, this much this much U and all that. Now then, currency bag, let's go ahead and exchange so I can get some more U. So let's, let's exchange G currency. Uh, let's give ourselves 30. As you can see, there's a fee. There's a percentage. Uh, however much you you want to exchange, there's a 5% currency exchange uh, fee. So 5% of 50,000 would be, or 30,000 would be that much. As you can see, we exchanged 30,000 G for that much uh, U because the the exchange fee. So uh, as you can see, we actually gained our uh, our currency. Now let's go back to, um, or let's just check actually. Let's see, we have that much G and we have that much U. So let's go back to the other shop. Uh, this this region here, um, they only take the G currency. So we are going to exchange currency back to the G. And as you can see, we have our uh, we have exactly that amount. <clears throat> and these potions cost G instead of the other uh, amount. So then, uh, as you can see, uh, we can also just check if you wanted to. Now, this might not be the most efficient way to do things, but uh, hold on, let's give ourselves a little bit more G first. Uh, let's see, let's exchange again. U to G. Let's just max it all out. So we exchange all of our U's for G's. So now, as you can see, we have no more U. So we uh, exchange back to G. There we go. Alrighty then. So as you can see, our money is there. So how this works is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and go to uh, our database. So we're going to make an item. It's going to be called currency bag. Do not make it consumable. Uh, so in consumable, say no. Uh, occasion. Menu screen, scope, none. All right, and it's going to call a common event called... Oops, I kept that name from my last uh, tutorial. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're just going to make a common event. Uh, I'm just going to rename it. There we go. Name it bag. Now, um, what you're going to do is you're going to make a conditional branch. If you don't understand conditional branch or variables, then you can go to this video here that's on the screen now. And um, through that video, just click the area if you're if you have annotations. If not, go in the link to the description, and that video will explain um, variables and whatnot. So then, uh, once you do have an understanding of them, that's when you should kind of watch this one. So here we go. You want to make a conditional branch, and you want to give it the script part. You want to type it. Everything is case sensitive, so remember that. Um, what you need to do is type it exactly how you see here. And I'm going to enlarge it on the screen so you can get a better look at it. Uh, replace the letter G with whatever currency that you want to uh, your main region to be. Or any other region. You can have as many currencies as you want with this, uh, with this kind of setup. Though it might get a little complicated if you have a ton of them. I mean, it's just going to take a lot more eventing. Anyway, you want to click OK. And then you want to control variables. We're going to make a variable called G and we're going to set it to gold. So if your current currency is G and you open the, the bag, it's going to set G to gold. Otherwise, if it's if you if you have you're gonna make another one uh, with a different currency, exactly the same, but you're gonna set that currency, in this case U, to gold. This is actually very important because it, it updates that variable as you open the uh, the bag. Now we're gonna show some choices. Exchange change currency or check currency. When you uh, select exchange, we have two choices, gold to you or you to gold. Now, um, depending on which one you select, uh, these, this setup will be extremely similar, so no worries. Um, so we're going to do an input number. Uh, we're going to select a variable called EX, and we're going to select the digits. Uh, we're going to maximize the digits as eight. Now you can do the input number thing here, uh, where it says input number. Now we're going to control a variable called backup, or BCKP in this case, and then we're going to set it equal to G. This is if you've selected G to U. Now we're going to check and see if EX is greater than backup, and if it is, it sets EX to backup. After that, we're going to make a variable called cost, and we're going to set it equal to EX. Next, 
we're going to here's another little tiny scripting thing um next we are going to do uh, we're going to subtract or sorry we're going to multiply rather cost by 0 0.05 which means we're setting the variable cost equal to the variable ex well to equal to five percent of the variable ex 0 0.5 would be 50 percent and one would be a hundred percent two would be 200 percent uh this is how you can kind of control the um the outcome of the uh the, the percentage the uh this is how you can kind of control the currency exchange percentage uh say for example you want to make it 2.5 percent 0 0.025 in this case, we're using 0 0.05, which is 5%. It's important to do this because you can't just do this. It won't work that way. So you, you can't put decimals in the um, constant. So we're using a script for that. We just type 0 0.05. Now we're going to show some text, and it's going to do backslash V5 to display um, the fee, because V5, as you can see here, here's the ID 5. That's the ID of cost. So here it's telling you how much the fee would be uh, after it's all calculated. Uh, based on however much you have input, it, input it. Anyway, so we're, then we're going to show choice yes or no because it's going to ask you if it's uh, ask you if you're okay with it. Now, here's another thing. Um, just like we did earlier, we're going to make a conditional branch to check and see if you're already using the currency G. And if you are, it subtracts the gold. Otherwise, if you're using the U currency, it's still going to subtract it. So this this if statement is very important. So yeah, it changes gold by the um, variable ex. This is after we've already set everything else up. Now uh, we're going to go to control variables. Now this part's important because when we go down, when we go down to the next choice, the next exchange part, we're just simply going to swap stuff like these. Um, so everything else is going to be the same though. So what we're going to do is we're going to set g. So we're going to subtract g rather um, by ex. Then we're going to make a variable called spent, and we're going to set it equal to ex. Now we're going to set ex, and so we're going to subtract it by cost, by the percentage, basically. And then we're going to add the currency u. Since this is gold to u, we're going to add by ex after ex has already been subtracted. And then we're going to show some uh, text here. So v8, or variable 8, is the spent variable that I have here. So we're setting variable 8, or so we're displaying variable 8 as the G unit and variable 3 which is EX as the exchanged amount for the U unit. After that we are going to check and see if you are using the other currency such as U and if you are then it increases your gold. What basically what this means is if you're on the uh, currency that, in, that gets increased like a uh, if you're on the U, okay, if you're currently using the U currency and you exchange gold for more unit, uh, U currency, then that will increase your gold. Uh, otherwise, you don't want to do that because it, it's going to get a little bit buggy. So you do want to have this. This is also a very important <coughs> if statement. All of this is pretty much very important. So now we have exactly the exact same thing that we've just seen here, except as you notice, um, right here we set U, we subtract U by EX, and we add g by ex afterwards. Whereas here we subtract g by ex and add u uh, by ex afterwards. So that's pretty much the only difference there, uh, other than other than uh, stuff like this, where if it, if you're using g, then it adds, and if you're using u, it subtracts here. Basically, just so, sort of swapping out the uh, g's and u's. So if you're using g with the if statements here, then you would just swap those out as well with the ones below. Sorry if that's a little confusing. <laughs> Now, when you select change currency, uh, you're displaying variable one and two, or whatever variable your G and U is. In my case, it was one and two. Now, we're going to show choices, and you're going to select which uh, which one you want to use. When you select G, uh, here's a little bit of a scripting trick here. The reason I went with uh, using this method to subtract your gold is because if you're using another script that uh, changes your gold limit, well, you can decrease by a limitless amount by using the script here. You don't have to like copy and paste a bunch of um, lose golds. Now this this little line right here, this basically what this does is it changes the currency unit's name. So in this case, if you select G, we're select or we're we're naming the currency unit G, and we're subtracting our gold by a butt ton. 
basically making our gold zero. Then after that, we are adding the gold by the stored variable, which is G. In other words, if it's going to basically um, subtract everything, like make our actual gold completely empty, and then add by however much gold we had before. And then the same thing with the when you, you would change the currency unit to U instead of G, just like this, and you would lose the gold. Again, this is all very case sensitive, that's very important. If you run into any errors, make sure you check all of your capital letters and make sure they're exactly the same as this one. And then we're going to gain the gold by U currency instead. And then the check currency is pretty much just the exact same as the uh, thing that just tells you up there, except without the show choices. You have uh, show display. It shows variable 1 and variable 2, which is in my case G and U. Afterwards, you want to set the variable EX equal to 0 at the very end of it. After doing that, you will have exactly this. Go to your items, use the currency bag, as long as you have it in your inventory. Change currency, we are using, let's use the U currency, which we have uh, 4,144 of. So let's go ahead and exchange, let's get rid of some of our uh, currency here. Let's do 2,000. 5% of 2,000 is 100. So we just gained 1,900 G, but lost 2,000 uh, U, as you can see here. Now let's, um, let's get all of our, uh, Let's get all of our gold, and yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, all that use. As you can see, when we check the currency, you have, we have no more gold, but we have 47,306 U. Now, we have zero G, as you can see here, when we switch the currency. However, using it, let's, uh, get, let's take all of our U's and convert it to G's. Now, you're losing money by doing this <laughs> a lot because the uh, exchange fee, but there you go. As you can see here, uh, let's see, let's change currency here. We are using the U currency because I clicked cancel, which was default of the choice too. But it's like here, we have our G's back. Uh, let's, let's see, this region here, they do not take the G. Yeah, I already showed you that. All right, but that's how you do multiple currencies. This was a lot of fun to set up. This is a very, 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 very cool thing, and I really hope to see it in uh, future games and stuff like that because this is a very neat feature. See you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.